Welcome back to DIY IT Department. In this session, we are going to be discussing with you internet browsers. Internet browsers are, of course, the way that your PC accesses the World Wide Web. For those of you that do not know, there are many internet browsers out there that for you to choose from. You don't have to just use one. You can use three or four or five, just like I have set up on my own machine. Internet Explorer, of course, is owned by Microsoft. It is the standard internet browser on any Microsoft Windows operating system. Google owns Chrome, Mozilla's Firefox, Apple Safari, and Opera Software's Opera. These are the five most used internet browsers throughout the rest of the world. So let's go in and take a look at some further statistics on internet browsers. These statistics are provided by W3Schools.com. In January 2012, Internet Explorer has gained 20.1% of the market share of the Internet browser world. Firefox market share is at 37.1%. Chrome's market share is at 35.3% and is a very interesting fact because Google Chrome is a fairly new internet browser and they have gained a huge amount of market share in such a short amount of time. Safari has 4.3 percent and Opera has 2.4 percent. Now the reason why I wanted to bring up these statistics is because that websites look, feel, and work differently in each individual um, internet browser. Web designers, uh, they go out there and they design a website to try to capture the most popular uh, internet browsers. So if a web designer is trying to design a website right now, he is probably going for the market share of Firefox and Chrome, making sure that their websites work, feel, and look the best in those two. Another reason why you want to utilize more than one internet browser is because trying to troubleshoot an issue with a website is a lot easier. If you're having an issue with a website and you only are using one internet browser, you have no clue about which, you know, if the problem lies with the internet browser, with your computer, with the website itself. So if you have multiple internet browsers installed on your operating system, you are able to check that website against another website to make sure that it is not your internet browser or computer. Maybe it's just the website. So let's click on back and we're going to take these step by step. We're going to go to Internet Explorer first. Internet Explorer does need to be updated on just like you update your operating system. You need to up or update your internet browsers on probably a weekly or monthly basis. Um, and how you would do that in Internet Explorer, uh, you can do it two ways. You can do it through your Microsoft updates, which we will show you in a different session. Or you can come up here to the tools, click on that, go to About Internet Explorer, and you will see the current version you're on and if there is any updated version. There is an updated version on this, so if you click on that, it will update it. Now, just like with smartphones, like with iPhones and um, uh, Android operated phones, those phones have um, basically apps. Um, there's an app for that. Well, uh, with internet browsers, they have apps as well, and they are called extensions or plugins. So you can come here to the Tools section, and you can come down to Internet Options, and you should find um, a section on here which talks to you about adding plugins. So you have General Settings, Security Settings, uh, Privacy Settings, uh, Content, and Connections, and then Programs, which this is probably where it's going to be where you can add um, more advanced settings, which are, of course, your extension or plugins. Now, one more note uh, to you about different internet browsers is that you can add different taskbars and toolbars, and you can change those around. Um, you can also change the look and feel about each individual internet browser. So let's go talk about one of my favorites right now, which is Google's Chrome. Here is the download page. It is a free download for you to download it and to install it. You'll come up here to the wrench section. Um, you will can scroll down to the About Google's Chrome. 
and it will go ahead and check to see if you have the latest up update done. If not, you can update that. Uh, you can click on the wrench here, and there's many things that you can do. You can do history, the downloads of the internet browser, um, options, which opens up a whole different um, section of options that you can tweak your internet browser. Um, also, I wanted to let you know about, uh, let's see, we were talking about extensions, and that would be here, and here are the extensions that you can add, many different, you can browse the gallery of extensions that are out there for Google's Chrome. So here, again, like I said, there, it's like apps for your phone, but it's apps for your internet browser. So next one, let's go ahead and discuss Mozilla's Firefox. It is a free download as well. Um, you can download it from this page. Uh, to update it, all you do is go over here to Firefox and go to Help and About Firefox, and it will check to see if you have any updates that need to be done. Uh, Apple Safari. Uh, Apple, of course, is an operating system, but they do allow you to have their Internet browser loaded onto a Microsoft XP, Vista 7, or 8 um, operating system. So here's the free download for uh, Apple Safari. Now to update it, if you come over here to Display Options, you can hit About Safari, and it'll tell you what the current update is. Last but not least, we have uh, the Opera um, Internet Browser. If you come over here, here is the download page for Opera, and you can click on the menu, and you can come to Help, you can check for updates or you can click the about opera and it'll tell you what uh, version you were on. Now before we finish up this session I'm going to talk to you just a few moments about Java script and Java runtime environment and then cookies. I'm sure you've heard cookies before. Uh, JavaScript is basically a communication uh, between um, the website and the internet browser and it's basically a language of when you click on something on a, on a website it tells the internet browser what to do. Java Runtime Environment is an, uh, basically a software that is made by Oracle Corporation and it helps with your computer to communicate with servers. I don't want you to get those two mixed up, I kind of wanted to explain them a little bit. Um, every once in a while on your PC, you should see um, Oracle come up and say that you need to update, or it should update automatically. You shouldn't have to press anything, but it's going to update your Java runtime environment, which is, of course, an Oracle uh, software. It also helps with the security of your internet browser when you're browsing throughout the World Wide Web. Cookies, um, a cookie also known as an HTTP cookie, web cookie, or browser cookie, is used for an origin website to send stat information to a user's browser and for the browser to return the state information to the origin site. So I know that's a little bit of a lingo there, but basically it's a way for your internet browser to communicate with a website if you ever have gone to a website and they've automatically known that you've been there before, well, that is how they do it, is through cookies. Now, with each internet browser, you can click on, let's go to Google's Chrome here, and we are going to just click over here, and we are going to Options. You can clear out the cookies of your internet browsers, and you would do that through, um, of course, the Settings options. Um, and I would suggest doing that. Here's browser data, important information, and browsing history you can clear out. Uh, you can clear out favorites and bookmarks, save passwords, um, and search engines. So you can do different things like that, but I definitely suggest that um, every once in a while you go in and you clear out the cookies of your internet browser. And you would have to, of course, pretty much do that with every single internet browser that you are utilizing on a daily basis. So, with that being said, that should be the end of this session, and that would be for uh, internet browsing and kind of giving you a, a rundown about the security of internet browsing. 
If you need some more support and information, please look down into the support resource section of this video. And uh, that's, that will do it for this section. We'll see you next time around, and we'll be covering the topic of security. So we'll see you then. Thank you.